Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my FIFA 21 Nottingham Forest career mode. So as you guys probably know, I did a Manchester United career mode ages ago. I haven't uploaded in a while, guys. And I'll tell you why. The other day I did actually make a video. It was a foot champs video, but I got terrible foot champs rewards. And I, I, at the minute, I've... I've had a terrible time on Ultimate Team. So I've come to do another career mode, and not a Man United one, because I'm doing a Man United... I'm, I've carried on with that one, but uh, just off camera, so there's no point in me showing it now. So we're going to be starting a fresh one, which I think will be better anyway, because we're going to be doing Nottingham Forest in the Championship. They've actually got something to... They've got... There's a lot of seasons in them. Whereas Man United, you could do it in the first year by winning the Premier League and the Champions League in the first year. But we've got to get past the Championship, then, like, probably Europa League or something like that. And as you guys can see now, I've, I've already made my manager, Mr. HPF. He's looking pretty nice in, a, in, in his shoes. Look at those shoes. I've got the cap on. All right, let's go advance and become the new Nottingham Forest manager. They've got some really nice away kit. That, that away kit is so nice, guys. So yeah, guys, they've got 14 million in the bank. It's a bit annoying that their stadium, which I actually might have to look up their stadium um, with their name of it. I think it's the city ground. But guys, we're gonna be on legendary nine minute halves. Sterling, yeah, Champions League. Financial, we're not gonna do a financial takeover. We'll set the negotiation, negotiation strict as a strict because that's what's best. I'm probably just gonna keep international job offers on. Maybe if we wanna to go to England in the future, I don't know. Transfer window enabled. We're gonna sort out the stadium now. They're st I think they're getting a new stadium in real life, so we'll try and pick the one that looks like their new stadium in real life. And that kind of already does. So yeah, guys, I have already looked up some sliders to be using for the career mode, just to make it a bit more realistic. I'll show you those in a second after we've got through this, this loading screen. But yeah, guys, the ultimate team just wasn't really working out, so, um. I've, I've, I've scrapped that idea about the Ultimate Team series, and I, I wasn't enjoying editing it so quickly after I've made the video, it was just a bit annoying. So yeah, hopefully Karimo is going to, it's going to be way better for me, and hopefully a lot more enjoyable to you guys, because I don't think they were that good, the, the Ultimate Team videos anyway. Okay, so we've got the pre-season tournament. Not to for us, have been invited to, shush. So they're all the same difficulty, um, any championship teams, that'd be quite nice. Pro that that is that is hard. They've got cologne and stuff in that. I don't think we're gonna be doing that. We could do the Antwerp one because it'd be Tottenham in real life. Actually, no, guys. We're just gonna go with the European Shield. Hopefully, we can get a bit of prize money. It's, it's the second uh, hardest tournament. Look at this. Nottingham Forest appoint HPF as new boss if it loads. Look at that. Look at how happy I am. Who's that in the in the right? And we play Huddersfield on the first game of the season, which is pretty easy because I think Huddersfield in real life are absolutely terrible. So yeah, guys, we're gonna have a look at the. Uh, the, the emails we've got here. Uh, who do we get in our... we got Nantes and then two other irrelevant teams in our group. We've got the Youth Academy report based on your own initial analysis. We feel that... Eirik Lee... I have no idea how to say that. That's something I hate about Krimo, that going through... How many youth players do we have? Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy looks insane. Guys, he's already 61 rated and his potential is 94. I think we're going to sign him up straight away. I think we're going to release this guy's Argos. We're going to we're going to release Argos because he, he's 52 rated and he's probably going to be. Actually, we're going to release this guy as well. Why did I even just? So we're going to have to release some a, a few of these a few of these donkeys. But this guy, let's get a development plan on this guy because he looks absolutely immense. So he's a right-footed right midfielder, which I like. I hate having inverted wingers. Um, we'll probably get his shooting up a bit, so which one would that be? I guess inverted wide midfielder. This guy looks decent as well, he's 15 from Ecuador and his potential was 94 as well I think. So he's got really good pace already, if we up his shooting and passing that would be very nice. He's a right winger and left footed, so if we just put inverted winger. You know what, we'll get wide playmaker on him first, just to get his passing and crossing and all that up a bit, and then, and then we'll decide. We're going to get rid of this guy, guys. He's 18, 51 rated. He's just not going to play. But yeah, guys, that's a very good youth academy, actually. I, on my Man United one, uh, on my Man United career, we did not have that. Now, I've seen my brother have a Nottingham Forest career mode, and there is some weird brand exposure um, objectives. So, youth development assigned four players in youth academy assigned to each of the following positions. I probably should have looked at this before releasing the players. Goalkeeper, defender, midfield, forward. I think we've got a midfielder and a forward and a goalkeeper. So, if we just search for a defender, that'll be fine. Within two seasons, sign one youth player to the senior team, play them in 10 matches. We're definitely going to be doing that with that 61 rated guy, probably even this season. Sign one player of a different nationality from one of the club. Oh, sign one player of a different nationality from the one of the club. So we just need to sign like some Ukraine guy. No continental success, obviously. We're not in any continental competitions. So championship gain, automatic promotion, and Emirates FA Cup. So guys, this I mean we're only going to play the FA Cup games and the championship games. So we're going to play all the championship games 
games. We're going to sim pre-season like with the with the sim feature, and we're going to sim Carabao Cup games. And I think there's a, no, there's not another league. Within the same season, sign two crucial players and make a profit of 31 mil within the same season. That that could be quite hard. It's a good job that he's very low priority. But yeah, gain automatic promotion. So that's coming second or first. And then round of 32 for the FA Cup. Nottingham Forest always do decent in the FA Cup for some weird reason. So I don't actually know who we're looking to get yet. Ibrahim and Diallo. I did not know Southampton had him. Um, but yeah, we'll look at what the squad is. And then we'll decide what we're going to do with transfers and stuff like that. Guys, this guy Christie, I saw him play against England the other night. He looked like an absolute beast. He's got 83 pace. I think he's only on loan at Nottingham Forest though, but this is the team that we're going to be setting up with, guys. This is our first team. Hopefully going to be... I want to improve a centre-back. I definitely want another centre-back to go along. Warrell. Maybe a new left-back because Ribeiro's in the... Well, he's all right defensively. Uh, Christie's going to be there for the minute. I want to get rid of Joe Lolly and get a better right-winger in. And maybe a striker if Lars Haler is good enough, then we'll probably just keep him. But yeah, guys, I'm probably going to have to convert Bashiru to a centre mid because he's minus three. So we'll go do that now. And I made Bryce Amber the captain because I think he's an absolute beast in real life. All right, guys, so I've sort of sorted out all the development plans now. What I've seen is we need, we definitely need a right winger. I'm going to sell on Joe Lolly. I'm moving Anthony Knockart into a cam because his stats would be really good for a cam. So with the first scout report, if they've got any decent strikers... That will be quite handy. Shea Adams, he's got good pace on him. He's got good finishing. Let's scout him and maybe we could get him. Jack Marriott, again, he's another good player. So maybe, oh, he's on loan, but we'll still scout him anyway. Vyman's got good pace. He's not exactly the tallest. But what we desperately need, guys, are right wingers. So let's go to these scout instructions and see what we can do. We're going to leave one scout back. We've got them on right midfielders and strikers because that's what we... Oh, we, I also wanted a centre back. So I'll go and add a probably strong and pacey center back but i was looking in the squad guys we've got this decent guy who's 19 who's got a decent bit but he's got 60 pace on him and he's got decent defense but we'll put strong and pacey on that center back put it down to 26 because we don't want some absolute numpsy joining us and there we go that they are the the uh oh the scout departs See if they've got anything already. I doubt they would i mean it's literally been a couple seconds guys we have 22 million transfer budget let me know in the comments because we're only going to sim till the end of pre-season in this episode who you want to see me buy because we definitely need to improve this team. Hope, make sure to put a right winger guys in the comments, a striker or a centre back. But yeah, let's sort out the the training. I don't know, is it on weekly schedule here? It is So we're going to go before match, we have a rest day, after match a recovery dray. A, cut, a great and then weekly plan only training that's what we want so yeah guys we're going to be playing the training drills and seeing oh i just want i'll be playing them once each one once just to get the a and then yeah we'll just sim them all all right guys so training just done i did get a d on the cross so i couldn't be bothered to, to retry it's fine d's d's the usual one you get i got on a with my center back pairing which is quite good it was against lewis graben and then yeah the striker's got a b so yeah guys we've got a friendly against nonce coming up which is the hardest one so, I, I don't know. I don't know whether, gonna, whether we're going to win this. I'm just going to quickly look at the youth scout that we've got, guys, because we do get a youth scout. Hopefully, he's a good one. I hope he is. It, he better be like... Okay, two-star, two-star. That's absolutely terrible. But I think we need a defender, if I'm not mistaken. We've got the goalkeeper, the midfielder, and the attacker. So, yeah, we just need the defender, and then we'll make the board happy. Bit annoying where it costs us 84 grand just to, just to get a youth scout. But, yeah, we'll do that. Any, any transfer offers coming in? Maybe we'll get our first scout. Maybe we'll get Shea Adams back or something. Seven emails. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll show you the players that I've transferred to you guys in those emails. So, first one, Joe Lolly. A lot of you Forest fans will be a bit annoyed. But I, I personally don't like Joe Lolly in real life. So, we're going to sell him and hopefully get a better right winger than him. He's happy he's leaving the club. Bryce Samba coming in with an email like the captain should. I'll say we've got plenty of work to do because they were bottle jobs last season. I mean, literally, they bo they bottled in the last two minutes of last season. So, yeah. No scout report to come back there so yeah we've all got plus ones around the board everyone's happy also there joe lolly's 27 guys so yeah it's good that we're moving him on because i'm really not gonna be playing him guys you know what i've changed my mind if for this first episode we're gonna be um it's just gonna we're gonna sim the first game because this episode's already been really long already so we're just gonna sim the first game and then after that i'll get your guys suggestions as to who to buy and i'll also have my list of who i want to buy once my scoutings have come back so hopefully guys on this saturday saturday the fourth we get a transfer offer we do we get Dariqua, who is someone i do not want to sell because of his pace and why has this come up so that's like an interesting purchasing this player so no swap deal no nothing it's just a straight up 1.3 million deal 
and I don't want to sell him really because I want to try him out because he's got insane pace. Well, let me just check his pace again. Acceleration 87 and sprint. Oh no, sprint speed 90. He is an absolute tank, guys. So we are going to be rejecting that offer. What what could we get? 1.45. You know what? I might actually just block the offers because I don't really want to sell him. So yeah, I think we're just going to block them. Nothing came back from the scouts either. They're not having a great a great time. I know it's been three days, but still, we've got our first game against Nantes now. Hopefully, we can get a win. And now all, all the offers are coming in. Uh, captain, no, 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 Samba's the captain. We have a transfer offer for Graben, and we can get 2 million off him, but 1.95, that's fine. I think I might just sell him now. He's had his time at the club. He's been the top goal scorer for many years, but he needs to go. He needs to go. And my manager rating has gone down, and I don't even know how. Samba looking like a pretty solid rock there. So yeah, guys, here we go. European Shield against Nantes. We're going to be simming. Get a bird's eye view of the game. I'll show you guys the uh, sliders that I've got on. I know it doesn't matter for sim games, and I think the sim games are on Legend anyway but here we are game settings we have competitor mode on legendary these are uh, i don't know if you want to pause and look at these i mean they're just i looked up a video and just put them on because to make it a bit more realistic because some of the crew modes i've done in the past on fifa and past fifas have been terrible because of how unrealistic they are so these are our french first division side so we're going to be simming the match hopefully we can get a win i want to see a great performance from the boys today i hope joe lolly doesn't do anything because if he does that's just going to be annoying and it's going to make you want to keep him but maybe he'll make his price go up because of how good form he's in i don't actually know any of the numbers or anything so i'm gonna to have to learn them so 26 for mckenna oh he's number 15 he's having a blinder already freeman that's a good interception by who is that oh that's the christie the right back he's just, 14's just been robbed bashiro that He's on minus three right now. Lyle Taylor. It's Ami Obi. What's he going to do? Lyle Taylor. Who's 14? Ah, oh, 14. Bashiru. Joe Worrell staying on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. That's it. Joe Worrell. What a solid player. We are getting kind of played off the park. 24 minutes gone, guys. And they're kind of through. That was a good tackle, though, by 26. Who was that? Scott McKenna. Joe Lolly's through. Oh, he missed. Oh, he should have scored that, to be fair. Oh, Ribeiro. I didn't think he'd be that great defensively, but that's a good interception there. And we're on the attack now. McKenna. Oh, he's played it backwards. I mean. But Lars Taylor's on the ball. Sammy Amiobi. Can he get a cross in? Turn the other way. Go on. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, no. I can feel it. This is... Okay. Half time. I don't know how the ref... Wef? Get a drink of water, mate. I don't know how the ref's blowing the whistle there. We've got 53% possession. Two shots. One chance. I mean, we have been the better team attacking-wise, but they've had more... I, I think they've had more possession, to be honest. Bashiru is playing a 7.8, and I don't really know how. He's missed a, missed a blind or an opportunity, and he hasn't played that great. Samba on a 6.1, I mean, he's had nothing to do. Ribeiro on a 6.4, he's played quite well. They're all good fitness-wise, except Bashiru, so let's go into the second half. Oh, they're playing quite well here. Coming down the wing, that could have been offside, to be fair. It's not, though. Christy on him. It's quite open in the middle. I don't know what's going on here. Samba, so some good defensive work. He's going to be he's going to be the main man this season, guys, Samba. So I love a good CDM. That was a terrible ball, but I don't even know who that was. Lyle Taylor's on the run here. Can he do anything with it? He's just lost it. I, I think we need another striker, guys. I know he's only just signed for Nottingham Forest this season in real life, but I think we do need a new striker. They're on the attack here. That, that 17 is getting down the wing quite easily. Limbom. I might have to make a sub here, guys. Oh, no! Oh, we just conceded to Koulibaly. I mean, whoever the hell he is. But let's see what we can do in team management because we do need to make some changes. I might bring on Lewis Graben just because he's got good shooting instead of Lars Taylor, who's got 69. So we'll bring on Graben. We'll bring on Knockout for Amiobi because he hasn't, Amiobi hasn't really got into good positions where he can get a cross in or anything like that. And we'll bring on Cafu for Bashiru. You know what? We'll also bring on Ryan Yates for Freeman just because... um. Oh, he's on minus six. So it's, oh, I don't really want to bring him down because I want him as attacking. If we have a uh, knockout on cut inside, maybe he'll go inside more. Same with Joe Lolly. If we cut inside with him, we'll get him as the target man just because he's not exactly going to get him behind the defence very quickly. So let's go. Ryan Yates has instantly gave the ball away. That's probably because of his minus six, which makes him 64 rated, which is not good at all. Who's 18 by way? Cafu. That's a good interception by Christie. Christie and Ribeiro, the two fullbacks, have had a very good game, to be fair. Graben's doing some good work there. Ryan Yates. Oh, he's gone through. Who's 18? 18! Cafu! Come off the bench. Get in. 78th minute. All right, we need to win this game now, guys. That was good by Cafu. A little tactical genius by me there, putting him on. Get forward. But here we we might have to defend here. Come on. Who, who is that? 26, McKenna. Oh, he's just... He's, he's missed the ball.
Oh, nice. 18. Who's 18? Cafu. Since he's come on, Cafu has been amazing. Ryan Yates. Graven. Back to Yates. Graven's actually been playing quite well as a target man since he's come on. And that is a one-all draw as our first game against Nantes, who are a good French side. So, that's quite a good result in my eyes. So, who's our best player? Bashiru with an 8. I actually can't believe he got an 8. But yeah, Cafu coming on with a 7.9. What a player, what a player. Sambaso with a 7.8, that's good. Vice Sambo 6.2, McKenna 7, Ribeiro 6.3. So yeah, kind of mid average really. Lolly with a 6.2, that is what I wanted because I don't like him and I want to get rid of him. Christie's on really bad fitness though, so maybe that's something to look at in the development plans. There's a Worrell chance. Oh, look at me looking. Oh, look at that picture. Hopefully on our next game against this uh, donkey team by the looks of it, we get our first win. But Joe Worrell transfer offer. I can't, I can't speak. <laughs> PSV for 5 million. Not a chance. He's 23 years old. We're definitely not selling him. Oh, the scouts have finally come back. So hopefully... Okay, these are right mids. This guy looks good. 73 crossing. I will definitely be scouting him. Six at four with decent pace and good finishing. What's his strength? Because oh, he could be a good signing. Lucas Yao, six foot four. These, <laughs> these scouts are good. They've got decent pace as well on them, these strikers. Well, maybe not this guy, but uh, six foot three. Not great finishing. I'm not going to scout him. Kenneth Zahor for Millwall. I mean, that acceleration isn't too good, but we only really want to hold up players. So has he got, he's got, de nah, he's not got a good passing. But guys, that's the end of the first episode of the Nottingham Forest career mode. Make sure to like, if we hit 10 likes, I will definitely upload the next episode as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>